Hello, Pop Culture Hero here again. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my nest videos done, but I got Snake Eyes here. And we are on patrol for a new figure that I was surprised to find at Walmart earlier this week. So here he is. The Iron Man Mark III from Iron Man 2. Featuring a nice figure stand. I just thought that was a nice nod that they gave him the figure stand. So you can put him in your G.I. Joe case and won't have to worry about him falling over. He's got this um, little accessory, not a spring-loaded missile, but a nice Macross missile-style armor pack. The hands rotate, and you do get a repulsor hand and a fist hand. Uh, what's different is that this fist hand can finally recreate the ground pound scene from the first Iron Man movie, where the Mark III does this. And stand up. Yes. Captain of Industry, Tony Stark. And International Peacekeeper. Alright, now, the main thing I see people complaining about on these new Iron Man 2 figures, because I've been watching a lot of reviews, is that and this is sort of my nerd rage, is that this is a universal joint down here, not a ball joint. It's, I know, nerd rage, but basically all you have to, it's it's a swivel above, um, cut under where the um, mains, where the, um, it's two swiveling joints on a hinge um, that r goes around a ball. Basically, if you've played with any of a Revoltech or a, or any of the superposable Halo figures, you know exactly what you're doing with these guys' legs. And it's really, really easy once you know how to um, fiddle with these legs. You just look for the slotted section. You can do all kinds of stuff, like common Rider kicks. And, you know, it's really, an, it's a well-painted figure. It's very durable, and I'm pleased with the plastic quality and for only seven dollars right now because Walmart's trying to get rid of them well before get rid of some of them before the movie starts I'd say pick one up